Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Steve with Blackfly. Hope everybody's doing awesome. Um, before we get into this video, I want to just say thank you to one of my subscribers, Joshua Bryan. He sent me a bunch of stuff from Fly Tires Dungeon, and it's amazing. Like, super good prices. And look at it, he sent me a whole bag of stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a whole like unboxing for this video just to show you all the stuff. I've been excited about sharing this using the materials. Oh wait a second. Okay, that's better. You understand when you tie flies, the feathers become part of you. It's okay. You can use feathers for beard decoration if you want. You can use feathers for little hat decorations. Use some pheasant tail. <laughs> yeah my wife's like babe i would never post anything like that and i'm like dude i don't care what people think of me i mean i care but at the same time you either like me or you don't that's <laughs> that's the way it goes you either relate to people or you don't and i hope that some of you guys relate to me but anyways guys thank you joshua um, i'm gonna link his instagram down in in the description of the video his name's Joshua Brian now. He's a excellent fly tire, jig tire, and I just want to say thanks, Josh. Appreciate you, man. All right, let's tie fly. Okay, so on the vise we got a 450BL uh, size 14, and the bead is a 3.0 uh, slotted tungsten in the copper orange thread. Uh, 70 denier right behind that bead. Build just a little tiny dam up, and we're just gonna dress the hook. First, we're gonna tie in his pheasant tail. I want the tail to be about as long as the hook shank. Give it a loose wrap and we'll pull up. Check it, say that's good. Trim that. Now we're going to bring our thread back again. We're going to split our thread. I've already flattened out by spinning it counterclockwise. So I'm going to take my little bodkin here. And I'm just going to relieve tension and just open that thread so the thread becomes two. Or you can make a dubbing loop. I think honestly Joshua might have custom made this or he got it at Fly Tires Dungeon. With all this I'm not sponsored by them or anything but then we're just going to take a glop of this. Thread is in two pieces split so we're just going to put this in our thread here and then we'll just spin our thread clockwise just kind of cord it up again and we're just going to start wrapping this forward. I just, I'm honestly freestyling this fly. I have not practiced it. Man, this stuff's really buggy. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Okay, I just spun a little bit more. I'm just going to preen these back as I tie it in. And I don't care if there's loose fibers. Okay, so what I did is I just pulled out some of these little rubber uh, pieces. So they look like, you know, lots of little legs. And take out the rest of this dubbing. I'm just going to trim it at an angle, just like that. So next I've got some black angel hair. And spin just a really kind of a thick little dubbing noodle. And then we're going to preen all the, everything back and just tie this in. Now we are not done. You guys are going to like the finished product, I hope. But we're going to give it a whip finish at this point. Go ahead and trim our thread. Now you can stop right there and fish that and I guarantee you're going to catch trout. The colors and the, all the movement that this has with all these appendages, it's just it's just going to fish. And we're going to grab some UV clear and thick. We're going to moisten this. Your, all your material just moisten it so it kind of comes down at an angle like this. Moisten it. And then we're just going to take this and we're going to go right over the right over the top. We're going to start at the back. Oh man, I just wanked that out. A little bit too much there, Steve. Move this forward just a little bit, that bump. Okay, so then we're going to hit it. Okay, so I've just got a black marker here. And I'm just going to color that back, that UV. And now I'm going to take uh, UV clear and uh, fluorescing which is really runny and we're just going to paint the back of this so that stays nice and shiny black for a really long time if you have black uv resin you can just use black uv resin i do not 
And there it is, a micro crayfish. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, not that. This, this needs this pink eyes. This honestly wasn't what I planned on tying. I planned on tying something else. Um, but I just freestyled and came up with this, and that's what's fun about fly tying, that it's art. And so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Steve signing out. Please don't forget to subscribe if you guys enjoy the videos. All right, take care, guys.